CataractCoach.com. Show me a beautiful cataract surgery. Show me what I can achieve with hard work and dedication. This is just a routine case here. We're putting in anesthetic. We've just made the paracentesis. The patient takes Flomax, so you can see there's a little bit of an issue there with the laxity of the iris finger tone. Here's our dispersive viscoelastic going in. Nice fluid wave, really coating that endothelium. That looks great. Beautiful red reflex here. Here's the fixation ring. Going to make an incision here using a diamond keratome. This diamond keratome is very narrow, so we'll just slightly enlarge the incision to about 2.4 millimeters in width. And we're going to use our forceps. As you know, we have these forceps marked off so we can make a very accurate rex. So poking in there, grabbing that capsule, and now pivoting around. Notice how we pivot in the incision. We don't want to hit the sides of the incision. Good pivoting, keeping the eye in primary. And it's that pivoting and circular motion that really allows us to create that nice rexus. That was just using the tips again to measure, and we can confirm this is the correct 5 millimeter capsule rexus. There it is. Exactly 5 millimeters. We'll do some hydrodissection here. Good fluid waves. I'm watching for the first wave. There's a partial wave. That's a good wave. Another good wave. That looks really good. And I like it to rotate, and there it rotates beautifully. As you know, I like to always recoat the central endothelium with a little more viscoelastic. And now the phaco probe is going in the eye. It's going to be a high vacuum, so at least four or five hundred millimeters of mercury, high flow, forty cc's a second. Buzz in with a phaco probe in the chopper. We can split the nucleus into two halves, and now we can even sub chop each half to have quadrants. And so we'll use phaco power modulations to minimize the total amount of energy used here. This will be a bare minimal amount of ultrasonic energy in the eye. And again, by doing very efficient surgery, even though we have 40 cc's a minute going through the eye, the total amount of fluid we put through the eye is very low. And so this is a case that for sure the cornea is going to be absolutely clear the very next morning. There's going to be no corneal edema here. There's the last piece. Notice the chopper position protecting that capsular bag. We do not want that capsular bag to touch the phaco tip. That looks great. And we'll switch over to the cortex removal and the IA probe. Let me remind you this time, check out cataractcoach.com. We have a lot more material than you'll find here on YouTube. Definitely appreciate our thousands of YouTube followers, but there's actually more and better material on cataractcoach.com. Check it out. So cortex removal, of course, here is very quick and efficient. There's a little last bit of it. We can polish up the capsule bag here with the IA tip, and that looks great. Now I'm having my technician load the lens for me. I have the pleasure of working with an absolutely fantastic surgical scrub team, and my technician today is going to load up the lens for me completely, and it'll be good to go. And so here's a little last bit of cleaning up. Looks good. There's the rexus. Here comes our cohesive viscoelastic to fill up the capsule bag. Nice, good fill there. And now it's time for the IOL. Here comes the lens. In this page, we're putting in a single piece acrylic lens, aiming for a post-op goal of about Plano. This patient does have a little bit of an astigmatism, which we're going to also address with a limbal relaxing incision done at the very end of the case. So here we can open up the IOL, release those haptics, and you can see there's a very nice overlap for 360 degrees of the optic by that capsular axis. Going behind the lens, I like to get all the viscoelastic out of the eye. Don't want any pressure spikes. Also, by removing the viscoelastic from behind the optic, you allow the optic to adhere a little bit better to the posterior capsule. It doesn't move around much. And then we can see those are the Purkinje images. We see the first and fourth. The fourth is the one to your left that's inverted. Seal up the main incision here. That looks great. And then go through the side port. Do a little bit of a reposition of the lens. And then seal this up. And then you can see those are the overlap of the Purkinje images. Looks great. So basically done with the cataract portion of the procedure. I like to put a few bit, uh, bits of medicine here in the eye. That was a little bit of dilute myostat. And that's a little bit of moxifloxacin. That's a wax cell soaked in tetracaine. We're going to place that there to give some added anesthesia. And then here lining up our fixation ring. And we'll do a small treatment for a small degree of pre-existing astigmatism. And that looks great. So thanks for watching. Always fun to see a beautiful cataract case.